So, it is 6 p.m. on Friday, which means it's time for the World Cup Phenoms and my 84 by 60 pack. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out MMO EXP. There is a link down below, and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. So, this is the World Cup Phenom team. We have got a 5 star skill 91 Rafael Liao. We've got a Bellingham, Lissand uh, sorry, Lataro Martinez, Pedri Saka, Hakimi, Kamavinga, Reyna, Gwenduzi, Kunde, Damsgaard, Dan James, and Tilo Kera. Which, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, some pretty decent cards there. There is some pretty decent cards. We have my 84 by 20 times 3, which we're going to open up and see if we can get one of these World Cup Phenom cards. I don't know if there are, are any World Cup icons in packs at the moment. I've absolutely no idea. Um... I hope there is, but I don't know. I don't know if there is or not. So let's just open this up and see what we get. Let's see what we get. All right, first one. No World Cup Phenom. It's going to be a walkout. Belgium, centre mid. It's, it's, it's what, 90 rated Courtois. Not bad. This counts my RTG on Xbox. So fodder is not horrendous. By the way, if you're wondering where I've been for the last week, I've just got back off uh, off of being on a, a little holiday. Um, so yeah, okay. Fodder-wise, we want fodder for the 87 plus uh, icon pack, but fodder-wise, not insane. Only three walkouts. That's not great. At least it's not too many dupes. Um, and it's tradable. Lovely. All right. So the first one wasn't great, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, okay, second one now. Where, where are we? Hello? Here it is. Second pack now. Come on, EA, please. Come on. Oh, some... oh, no. Don't do this to me, EA. I'm wearing the Croatia shirt, EA. All right? Croatia just beat Brazil. We're wearing the Croatia shirt. Please, no. Don't do us like this, EA, please. <laughs> There's new World Cup icons as well. We've not packed either of those either. Cruz, Ruben Dish. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not looking good. It is not looking good at all. I think all of these will be duplicate and tradable as well. I might as well quickly check. I don't mind quickly recovering some of these as well. That's tradable. And that's untradable. Brilliant. All right. Well, I'll recover those and use them in a little bit. Third and final one. Please, EA. Can we get a special? Please give us a special card. Please. Come on. Third and final one. Here we go. These packs are just terrible, aren't they? These might be some of the worst packs ever. Well, no special card, sadly. Um, never mind. We get two in one pack. We get Tilo Kara and Damsgaard. I don't think these cards upgrade, do they? Um, that's not a bad card. The Tilo Kara is pretty decent. Damsgaard, left mid, left wing for Brentford. That's not a bad card either, to be fair. I'm not going to lie. Both of these will likely be super subs. But at least we finally got a couple. They didn't pop up. Um, they're not bad. Not bad. Two in one pack. We'll take that. That's all right. That's okay. Let's go and do my 87 plus base or mid icon pack. We also got a free pack. A quarterfinals nation pack contains four rare gold players, three guaranteed to be from Netherlands, Argentina, Croatia, Brazil, England, France, Morocco, or Portugal, and one player guaranteed 83 or higher. Let's see what we get. Can't be good. Hoiberg. Okay. Well, um, not ideal. Not ideal. Uh, okay. All right. Now it's time for my 87 plus base or mid icon pack on my RTG. Uh, for those that don't know, I run two accounts. This is my RTG account. We haven't spent a penny on this account. And this is what the team was. Well, that's not what the team looks like. That is, uh, my swaps team. Um, it is this one. This is what it looks like. So, so far we've had Pushcash and Jazzini from icon packs. We've had, this is all untradeable. It's a really good team, actually. Um, let's see if we can improve it with our 87 plus base or mid icon pack. From basically the fodder from the 84 by 20 by 3. So, here we go. 87 plus base or mid icon pack. Come on, EA. Sort us out, please. Give us a good icon. Big nation. Let's see what we get. I'll take it. I'll happily take that. 90 Dow Gleesh is class. I am very happy with that. That is very good. That is very good. I can replace, uh, I could put him in for Mane, or I could put him in for Kuehl maybe, and, and mix the team up a little bit. That's good. That is very good. I am very happy with that. That is solid. Very, very nice card. Um, shame it's not his World Cup icon. However, I'm happy with that. That is solid. That is very, very good. I'm happy with that. Four star, five star. <laughs> very decent. Let's go. We've got the free pack on my PlayStation account now, my main account. Let's go. What are we getting? It's a board. Spanish, right wing, Asensio. Okay, fair enough. I saw some people get some insane free packs. I thought maybe we'd get lucky, but no. All right, 
We're going to open up 12k FIFA points on this account now with 100k packs to see if we can get one of the World Cup Phenom players or one of the brand new World Cup icons. Um, we technically, I mean, we got uh, we got Dalglish, right? He's technically one right now. Um, can we claim it? Don't think we can, can we? I forgot about these. I've been away for a week, so I've, I've not opened packs in ages, it feels like. It's been a week. I forgot how annoying these player picks actually are. What, EA, can we just have them gone now? Like, you know, it's time, it's time for them to go. It's time for them to go. It's time for them to go. It is, it is boring opening up these player picks every single pack, especially when you've got basically every single one of the pin cards anyway. There is no reason. Especially, like, if you've done all the swaps and stuff like that, if, you, if you've reached level 10, why can't you just not have them in packs? You know, that'd be pretty nice. Um, the V in the first 100k pack, though, is not a W, is it? It's not good at all, sadly. All right, let's do pack number two. What are we saying? We get ourselves at least a board. Germany. Goalkeeper. Walk out. Hey, 90 rated Manuel Neuer. Manuel Neuer and Trent. All right, double walkout pack. Can't complain too much about that. Cannot complain at all. That's a that's a good 100k pack. We probably uh, we probably just about break even. Maybe not actually. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the price of the players at the moment. Hey, we got complete fours in there as well. Not too bad. Let's store those and discard the rest. It makes us a lot quicker as well. Makes the process of opening these quicker. Like I'm just gonna get duplicates anyway. Who actually cares? Who actually cares? Um, hey, Doan. He was pretty sick in the World Cup. Shame J Japan can't take penalties. That's the biggest problem. Japan just can't take penalties, apparently. Neither can the Spanish. I don't get it. Let me know in the comments down below, by the way. I wanted to ask you guys this. Let me know in the comments down below, right? Like, do you do you think that the the, the, the Spanish and the, and the Japanese national team took the penalties the right way? For me, that, that probably doesn't make a lot of sense. Hey, Haaland. For me, I'm not a pro. I'm not pretending to be some sick footballer. But I would just smash it into the bottom corner. I don't know why they're walking up to the penalty and tapping it into each corner. Like, it makes it so easy to save, in my opinion. Like... I know there'll be a lot of people saying, you know, they just want to hit the target and whatnot. But for me, professional footballers should be able to hit the target from penalty. And that might be one of those where it's like a stupid comment to make because everyone's human. People make mistakes and whatnot. And I'm, I'm saying like, you know, there's the odd anomaly. But like, they should be able to hit the target smashing the ball at the goal, in my opinion. They shouldn't have to like walk up and tap it. So I, don't, I just didn't understand the penalties personally. But that's just, you know, that's just me, I guess. Um, let me in the comments down below what you think. Next 100k pack. Come closer. Come go further away. Sorry. Ah, Marquinhos is okay. 88. I thought it might be Neymar. Marquinhos is not bad. 88 rated. Pretty decent. Um, these have been a little bit better. They didn't start off great. They've been a little bit better. Um, but yeah, not ideal, is it? Not ideal at all. Um, ironic as well, because I'm wearing the Croatia shirt. Are we going to pack Marquinhos, who uh, obviously hit the post with his penalty to send Brazil out? Yeah. Sorry if you're Brazilian watching this video. I highly doubt anyone is watching this video that is Brazilian. But if you are, I do apologize. Um, <laughs> yeah, pretty awkward. Anyway, these, these player picks are making my life painful. So let's open this last one and then let's go and open the next 100k pack. Come on, EA. Sort us out. All right. Next 100k pack. Second to last one. Come on, EA. Please. World Cup Phenom? No. Give me a World Cup Phenom, man. Please. Please. Who's this? Rodri? Brilliant. We're getting all the... Uh, all the people that went out on penalties, clearly. Oh, give me a World Cup fiend on me, eh, please. Okie dokie, last 100k pack. Come on, EA, sort us out. Can I just get one, please? Give me one, man. Just give me one World Cup fiend on. You've lost all motivation. Hey, we got one. No way. Oh, Bakayo. Get in. Bakayo Saka. Wow. Wowie, okay. Not bad. How much is he? Surely he's expensive. Oh, baby. 400k. Get in. We have the icon pack on my PlayStation main account now. Let's see what we get. It would be nice to go ahead and get, you know, uh, uh, I was going to say Mateus, but I meant to say um, R9. Hullet. Dino. Something like that would be nice. Cruyff. Here we go. Big Nation EA. That's not ideal. That's not exactly what I was looking for. Um, Andrea Perlo. Right, okay. He's not really going to be pulling strings in my uh, in my midfield anytime soon, is he? Not ideal. Not ideal at all. 